In this video, I'm going to show you a small introduction into the color grade tool in Mystica. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, select uh, the clips in my timeline and go to my effects tab and apply uh, the color grade effect. I'm going to zoom in with the uh, uh, up arrow of my keyboard and basically select uh, one of the clips. Okay. And um, over here, we just enter the visual editor. And in the visual editor, we have to our right uh, the Evel tree, which you must be familiar with uh, right now. Um, in the middle, we have the storyboard, which will help us to navigate through all the shots in our timeline. And in the center, top center, of, uh, we have obviously the shot that we are going to work with. And at the bottom, we have to our right the user interface for the color grade tool, and to our left, we have the parameters of our color grade tool. I'm going to open a scope, which I can also open up to uh, four scopes if uh, needed to. Okay, you, you can see I have different type of scopes, and you could choose among many different uh, flavors. Okay. In this case, I'm only going to work with two right now. I'm going to move them and position them uh, to my left. And now that uh, uh, we I've set all the visual editor as I want to, I'm going to start doing my work. The first time we add, we enter into our color grade tool, we see our primaries and in the primaries we see a black point gamma point and white point and as soon as i click over uh, the trackball with the right button of the mouse you could see how i manipulate the luminance i'm going to now set uh, my black point these are our lift gamma gain controls with uh, just a different name and well stretch the image try to put uh, the highlights almost to 100 percent um, maybe play a little bit with the gamma there i will add another layer and when i add another layer uh, it's named vector number two it goes back to primaries but i will want to use bands now bands is a luminous discrimination of my signal and I have five trackballs, one dedicated to the uh, to black information, another one to the shadows, another one to midtones, to highlights, and finally to the white point. I also have hue saturation and contrast control knobs at the uh, bottom, where, for example, if uh, I wanted to, I could add some contrast in the midtones. Or um, now, uh, maybe. I could also uh, bring a little bit more detail there now that I've contrasted maybe way too much on my uh, midtone control there. Bring some more detail from uh, the shadows. Okay. And also maybe in the highlights, add some warmth. Okay. Um, particularly, the difference between bands and primary is that uh, the bands are working with an uh, add operator and it's uh, just in the, the chrome and the luminance in uh, different uh, moments. So when I'm applying a change in the midtones, I'm really modifying the luminance. And it's only when I'm uh, playing with the uh, chroma trackball that I add some chrominance to, into the signal. So um, I'm going to add another layer here. And I'm going to work with the fixed vectors. And fixed vectors, I'm uh, working with the six uh, primary colors, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and magenta. And uh, what I can do here is maybe let's saturate a little bit cyan and blue. They can see that uh, the cloak of our character just uh, saturated a bit more. We could see it in our vector scope there, moving. Um, maybe add some more warmth into our yellow information. Maybe that was a bit too much. And let's add some more saturation on the greens. Maybe not too much. We could maybe add some more uh, luminance there. 
I think that would be enough. I'm going to add another layer and in this layer I'm going to work with uh, curves. And in curves uh, I start with uh, RGB curves where I'm going to add a point. This point I'm going to add it by pressing Alt and clicking uh, halfway through uh, the curve. And I'm going to add some uh, tangents here. And these tangents I'm just going to use them to apply a little bit of an S curve there into my image. Okay, I could maybe bring it up or bring it down, but there I'm adding some more uh, contrast into the into uh, the picture. I also have the option of working luminance versus luminance, saturation versus saturation, and luminance versus saturation. In this case, what I'm going to do is maybe add some more vibrance into the picture there. So we could see there now our highlights are, are really starting to pop. And then uh, similarly to the fixed vectors, but in curves I have hue versus hue, hue versus saturation, and hue versus uh, luma. So here I could add points and maybe add some more luminance into uh, the green colors. Well, that might be adding a little bit of noise. I could... Uh, go back uh, to my hue versus saturation at some points and maybe just add a tiny bit more saturation there on the cloak there and all these options as you can see every new vector that I have applied will have the possibility of working with uh, primary bands fixed vectors and curves and also in this case now I'm going to add a fifth vector I also have the option of adding a window and in this case I'm going to add an ellipse and this ellipse basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to vignette uh, the picture add some softness change a little bit the type of the vignette okay all these changes I'm um, doing them uh, the rotation with alt size of the vignette with control and softness with shift okay if you have a control surface it will be much easier to control all of them and now I'm gonna go back to primaries and I also have uh, this option so uh, gamma right now I'm working on the inside of the gamma but I can also go to outside and I'll start working with maybe the outside of uh, the signal and I could go here to my printer lights and maybe uh, just click and drag level and I'll be darkening both the black point and the white point of the signal in the outside of this ellipse okay and that is a quick introduction to uh, what you could do in the color grade tool in Mystica we will see a little bit more in detail more things that we can do